Hey guys, what is up? Happy May 1st. I love May 1st so much for a multitude of reasons. It's the beginning of spring. Um, summer is right around the corner. The temperature is absolutely perfect around May and um, a certain somebody was born in that month. Uh, that's me. <laughs> My birthday is May 8th, so I have about a total of one week it, once May 1st hits to celebrate my birthday um, and if you have followed me for some time you know that in the past I have gone to Vegas I have gone to Disneyland during the week and I, and I have a party at the end of it all like I do multiple things like go to Bora Bora like I do lots of things I do parties trips I, I just make a week of it it's just like my excuse to F off and just whatever however this year is a little different because we are in isolation we're social distancing and I have really been taking advantage of this time to create content like I love doing it and I have definitely if you follow me on my second channel I've definitely grown and able to do my own hair and makeup somewhat my hair is a little questionable today um, but I, I really love just like organizing my house and cleaning and creating content I've been creating content on all these platforms pretty much every day to keep you guys entertained because that's what I do I suppose in some capacity, I either entertain or, in some way, some people think I'm a queen and some people think I'm a court jester or a clown. <laughs> but either way, they both entertain, right? So I guess that's, that's my job. But um, I really wanted to do something special this year for my birthday. Um, I've donated. Okay, so here's the thing. I've posted about this on Instagram and a lot of people are like, wow, you're bragging or, um, or wow, you've only dated like, donated like $5,000, $2,000. But the thing is, one, doesn't matter how much money you donate. If you can donate a dollar, I think that's good. Two, I'm not baller where I can just give out thirty thousand dollars. Like I don't own a house. I still have to. I'm still working towards getting a down payment for a house. I take care of family. I take care of myself. Like, um, it's not. I don't know. People, I think, think maybe think I'm like this, like multi million. It's crazy. I spend a lot of money, and so maybe that's why it looks that way. But I've said it time and time again that I am not, by any means, overtly excessively rich. I, I do well, and because of that, I wanted to. I want to give away what I can. So I'm going to be giving away thirty-two thousand dollars on my thirty-second birthday, which is a lot of money. Yes, it could go towards a house, it could towards my family, but um, I really do want to give back. Is there a bird or a frog over there? Anyways, um, so I thought, you know, every year I always like buy myself presents. I still bought myself myself presents this year. Or I go on trips or I do parties and I was like, you know what? Let me just take that money and help out the way I can. This is the best way I know how to help. I know there's so many other people doing way braver things out there. You know, we have medical workers and essential workers putting their health on the line every day to help others. Like that's the ultimate selfless act and I just, I, I'm thankful and grateful and I, I can't I can't even fathom like to, to be that good a person I, I only hope to be like 1.01% of that person because that's that's amazing those are some truly amazing people so the way I know how to help is by donating and like I said I've donated in the past I think a lot of people have given me some shit because it's like oh you're not donating and all these youtubers are donating and I have donated I've donated uh, to multitudes of things to my my church I've donated a few of the children I've worked with the longest for about three years now I donate every single month to sponsor 10 children I work closely with them I talk I communicate with them and um, possibly hopefully doing trips and stuff with them but I thought I wanted to do more and there was a lot of charities that I wanted to do more for so I'm doing this video to raise awareness at least for the charities um, maybe you could help out in the charities if you can't donate if you can you know maybe adopt a dog because that's one of the ASPCA is one of the organizations I'm going to donate to. So I'm, I just wanted to raise awareness. So for the whole week of my birthday, because I like to celebrate, I am going to be celebrating with birthday videos, birthday cake testing, um, birthday dinner, um, what I got myself for my birthday presents. Um, I was supposed to go to Beetlejuice this year. I was supposed to be in New York. So um, uh, I'm doing a whole transformation. My sister and my mom are bringing New York to me. And I'm still definitely having fun and definitely treating myself and going ham for my birthday. Because I love my birthday, whether we're in isolation or not. This is birthday in isolation, y'all. <laughs> Um, but I definitely wanted to also give back and share because honestly, the older you get, and when you just, I literally, like, this sounds like I'm bright, but like, I, I really do get what I want as far as monetary goes, like spending stuff, I can get a purse, I can go get glasses, I can go get an outfit, and like, I'm really, truly grateful for that, so I don't really need anything, so like, the older you get, the more you just want to give, and, um, I, it feels better to give, I kind of feel awkward <laughs> receiving because I feel like I've gotten so much and been blessed with so much like you guys watching me all these years and me having a, a career and a job that I can not only put a roof over my head but my family's head and feed them and feed me and 
and and entertain and get to do this hobby and get to cool, do these cool jobs and get to travel. It's, it's, it's a blessing. It's beyond a blessing. Like it's more than I could ever hope for. And I've always said that, that if it ended now, I would have the greatest little like decade of fun that is, is just, it's, there's no price that you could put on that. And on that note of giving, I always say this, I've always said this, like you give to give. You don't give to receive. You don't give with expectations. You give to just give. It makes you feel good. And But giving something, whether it's good or bad, you get it back tenfold. So if you're giving lots of love, you're going to get that love back. If you're giving lots of negativity, you're going to get that negativity back. So I'm all about giving. I like it. It makes me feel good. And then you always get something in return. And maybe you don't see it right away. Maybe the payoff is, is not what you think or whatever. But that's what I'm saying. Don't give to receive. But you're, what you do receive, you get abundance. You're just like, why, did I, why do I deserve this? I don't know. I give I give thanks. I give prayers. I give love wherever I can. I know a lot of people think that I try to be offensive. And I, I really don't. I'm not gonna reiterate it. I'm not gonna harp on it in this video. But you know, I, I I I'm a lost girl. I'm 30. I'm gonna be 32 in May, and I'm a lost girl. I'm a lost girl. I I'm not a victim, but I'm lost, and I'm always searching to belong, and I'm searching for answers, and I'm searching for identity and there's just so much I'm searching for and I'm sorry that if in the process of my self-discovery I've offended others it's never my intention at all but let's get in to some of these charities and some of these charities will touch on that now the first charity that I'm going to be donating to is Doctors Without Borders so obviously COVID-19 and this pandemic is a really really hard time for everybody right now um, Doctors Without Borders they basically just do that they they provide medical aid and shelter and housing for homeless elderly those who can't afford and um they've they've always done work with you know people who have medical issues that that, that can't get the right care um and right now they're really focusing on the COVID-19 and um finding cures and housing and all of that stuff so I decided to donate to Doctors Without Borders and with each video that I post this week I'm going to be showing the donation as well as more of an explanation so I'll get more into these charities as the weeks go on. The second one I'm choosing to donate to is and all of this will be $32,000 spread out amongst all these um, is Trans Equality and this is an organization that I found while I was myself going through gender identity issues long before I ever made my I am transgender video. Um, I had done research figuring out what I am you know they also support non-binary and as well um, and not only that as soon as I made the video and I got a lot of backlash it helped me educate myself more on what I did wrong or what was ignorant about what I said because again I never truly meant to hurt anybody but if I spoke ignorantly then that's something I don't want to do and I want to learn um, and my gender identity specialist therapist that I was seeing actually told me about this organization and they help out with education and they're basically there to support and protect you know transgender people who are going through it right now, you know, um, unnecessarily, unnecessary violence, judgment, employment, there's just a wide things that are just not equal for them right now, military, government, all that stuff, it's just, and they fight for that, and they fight to protect them, and they fight to get the equality, and they fight for protection, and um, I think it's a really great organization, like I said, they educate, they help, they provide support, um, struggling with your own identity if you're struggling with you know transitioning or how you feel before and after like just all of that stuff that provide can it's a really really great cause so transequality.org is my second organization my third one is feeding America um, I really I use someone who eats a lot of food and abundance of food and I I feel like I've wasted food a lot in videos and life I'm very fortunate that I I don't go hungry you know having said that that there's families, that there's children that are not getting food during this time. I can't, I can't fathom that. That's a, that's a need. We, we need that. It's a necessity of life. And food banks do provide food to families in need, especially during this pandemic and stuff like that. But in order to do so, they do need the funding to keep that going. So I decided to go ahead and donate to Feeding America this week as well. Um, it, it's just it's what we need as humans that there's just no ifs ands and buts I mean we need we need all this stuff all this stuff is a necessity but food is like to I, I, I can't fathom that that's something that I couldn't imagine like babies going on children going, like it just that's why I, I work with um, feed the children uh, so this is feeding America this is families but feed the children goes international as well and I just that's something that like I just that's the very least I want to do for someone is be able to provide meals. And it's just, it, 
I just, like I said, I, I found this one researching COVID-19 um, specific charities and I was just like, wow, this is something that I need to do as well and doing it monthly. Um, the next one I'm going to be donating to is Broadway Cares, um, Equity Fights AIDS. Um, I decided to do this kind of last minute. I kind of rebudgeted it a little bit to get some money to them um, because Broadway is a huge part of my life. Obviously, I was going to be spending my whole week on Broadway and um, not on Broadway, not performing, but like going to see the shows. And I thought it was a really good organization. The more I looked into it, not only um, do they provide support for actors or, you know, people, humans, you know, specifically, obviously, Equity Fights AIDS, like AIDS and illnesses. But right now, they're also focusing on people who are out of work or need medical assistance um, with COVID-19, which I think is also really important because a lot of people are out of work or not getting insurance, underpaid, or just, you know, just having a hard time. And I, I really think that's a great organization. I know um, a lot of Broadway actors donate to them over over the years, you can get walk-on roles in Broadway Cares, um, and it's, it's just a charity I heard a lot about. I've never actually donated, and because I'm going to be doing a whole performance of Beetlejuice, and you guys will get to see that for my family, and using their copyrighted music, I decided to, um, you know, donate to them because Broadway has changed my life, and any way that they can change other people's lives, I think it's really great. I love that they they give back. I think it's it's um it's really important. The final charity I'm going to be donating to is the ASPCA. Um, and oh no, there's two more charities. The ASPCA, which is um, animal cruelty prevention and also providing homes for animals. So it basically fights cruelty against animals and animal homelessness. Trying to provide um, homes for these animals, especially right now. Oh, it gives me chills. Like, so if you guys don't know, I. I haven't always been the biggest fan of animals, specifically dogs. I used to be really scared of dogs. Um, but I was given a dog <laughs> randomly a couple of years ago and I didn't know how to take care of it. Um, I, I found the home with my mom and my sister, thank God, and they love him and I've grown to love him. I can't take care of dogs. I can't, I wish I could. I would adopt so many. I just can't, I'm irresponsible and I'm not right for it, but there are many people who are right for it. And we are thinking about getting another dog and we are definitely going to be adopting because I you see, even on TikTok, I see like dogs being rescued that are shaking and just, and dogs are just so helpless and all animals are so helpless. They are dependent on us as humans to love them and a dog getting anything other than an abundance of love when that's all they give us, it makes me so sad to think of that there's not gonna be homes they have to be put down because there's just no space for them and I get it, it's a struggle and it's hard and I wish I could do more. So I am deciding to donate to that charity as well in hopes to provide homes for these animals to keep these shelters open just a little longer. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna go in more detail with all these videos, but uh, there's so much horror in this world and tragedy. It just, it makes me, it really, I just, I, like I said, the very least I can do is, is donate money, but I just wish I could do so much more. I wish I could, I wish I could house all these dogs and like in, in a way I feel like I can and I know I'm just getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry, but, um, the final charity I'm going to be donating to over the course of this week is the AFSP, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Um, this is one that works with a lot of mental health issues, and obviously suicide, suicidal thoughts. It provides resources for people who attempted suicide, thoughts of suicide, something that I've supported to for a very long time. You can go back to videos from 2011, starting from 2009, May. Ex-boy from Brian, good friend, uh, lost his life. Um, <laughs> and it's like, it's so weird when you like know someone that's gone through it. Because I literally talked to him the day before and then the next day they're not there and it was, there's a, there's a variety of reasons why people commit suicide. I've, I've had my own thoughts that get really, really dark. And, um, sorry. And I know sometimes you can't control it. They always say suicide is a selfless act. It's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. But, you know, sometimes you can't control those thoughts. And we all need the help. And, unfortunately, therapy is so expensive. Unfortunately, therapy is so expensive. And help is so hard to find sometimes. And so 
AFSP is a really good one for all mental health issues and suicidal thoughts and providing assistance, aid, comfort, support in any way they can. And sometimes people can't be saved, but sometimes they can be. And I'm really passionate about it. I've donated to them throughout the years. I sold paintings. I remember back in the day, oh my God, like 2011, I remember if you guys have been around this long, I videos of myself of me painting my boobs, painting my butt. I sold the art on eBay and I donated all that to the AFSP and it's just an organization that I'm really um, connected to on a very personal level. Um, again, another one that's helped in situations that I've needed and I know I can help other people. <laughs> I'm blessed to have made it to 32. I'm blessed to be happy in life right now, but I know everything is temporary. Life is temporary. Happiness is fleeting. Everything is just up in the air at all times for people who struggle with mental health. I'm a poster child for that. I struggle deeply with mental health. I struggle with lack of self-control, and I think that's what a lot of people struggle with when it comes to suicide and mental health and depression and all that stuff. Anyways. I've been researching a lot of these charities and I've already made some donations to kind of get the ball rolling and um, it just, I read these stories and I read their mission statements and I read what people are struggling with and how they help and whew, I take nothing I have for granted anymore. I'm very blessed and thankful. You know, I'm not, you don't compare problems in life, but you, there are some people out there that are just, you can't feed your family. Like, having said all that, I'm donating charities and organizations that can disperse it properly amongst people all over the country, the world. But I wanted to give also money to you guys. I'm going to be doing a $10,000 giveaway. Um, I know $10,000 may not be a lot compared to Mr. Beast or David Dobrik or Jeffree Star. You know, I, it's what I can give. Um, and I wanted to give 20 people the chance to win. You, all you have to do is have PayPal. Um, there'll be details of that on my actual birthday may 8th so come back and check for that video it's very simple to enter you just need an instagram and a paypal um obviously free if there's any scam ever asking for money to enter anything like no shipping no nothing um and i want to give away cash to you guys because i know a lot of you guys need to get emails daily and messages daily asking for help sorry asking for help and The stories I hear are so upsetting and I, I donate when I can. I have, like I said, I have a family I have to take care of and I'm not by no means, I'm not super wealthy. You know, I do, I do great, I do good, but I just, I have people I gotta take care of too in my life, but I try and help as many of you guys that I can. Someone was pregnant and homeless and another person was addicted to drugs and they wanted to get into rehab. And here's the thing, like some of these stories, you know, you don't know. You can't verify. I have the heart and the mind that I just believe everybody. And, yeah, do I get scammed? Probably sometimes. Probably, you know. But do I help people sometimes? Yeah, I get... There was a woman who wanted food, and she... She's like, you can just give me a card, so you know I won't spend it on anything else. And I was like, no, 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 just give me your PayPal, because like, I don't want to send a gift card and stuff like that. Is I think she lived in her car, so it was going to be difficult. And I just sent her... Uh, money and I was just like you know I hope you use it for food or you know whatever you need I always just feel like if someone's scamming too they need it more than I do I've had stuff stolen from me and what have you and I always just think they, they need it more than I do um so but she sent me she sent me her receipt of all the groceries she got for her kids and it just it like <laughs> I'm sorry it just like makes me so upset that like people live and that people are underpaid or they can't make ends meet like it's I try and help out when I can. If people have GoFundMe's, if, they're, if they've been in accidents, they don't have health insurance. I've donated to people's funerals. It's just, I, I try and help out when I can. And, it, and I know, I, I don't care. I, don't, I literally don't give a fuck what people think about me if they think I'm selfish and I don't donate or I don't help out. Because I really, I do, and that's fine. And I know that in my heart. So it's not. this is not a thing to be like, look how great I am. I will pick the winners at random. I will do some vlog or screen recording of it so people know and verify and validate it the fucking world we live in now but as far as the other donations and people who need my help like i try the best i can to donate to as many people as i can i can't possibly donate to everyone and the amount they need but i try i can daily i try daily to at least give a couple hundred dollars to somebody and i'm so 
so sorry if anyone is unemployed or living paycheck to paycheck. I've lived paycheck to paycheck longer than you would probably think. 27 years probably as an adult, probably until I was like 20, 29, I was stopped living paycheck to paycheck. Well, up until then, I was living paycheck to paycheck and it's, it is so stressful. It's so awful and I don't understand it. I don't know how this is working and this is why I don't watch the news and I try and stay ignorant because I don't understand it. How people are surviving and living and eating and it's just, I, I pray so much that there is peace and there's this rainbow at the end of this rainstorm. It's, it's a lot, but I'm trying to do what I can. And I, again, I don't want to make this video to be like, oh, look how great I am, because that is not it. I am, I'm, I can be a shitty person sometimes. I know I'm a good-hearted person, but I know I do shitty things. I know I offend people. I know people get pissed off at me, and I don't like that, but I really do have a good heart. <laughs> I really do want what's good for people, you know, because I know what it's like to struggle mentally, physically, financially. And um, I'm just, I'm trying to help out when I can, and honestly, um, it makes me me feel good. So I'll, uh, the pick, these winners will be picked at random for the ten thousand dollars. That'll be on May eighth, and I really thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting me because all I have is because of you guys. And I just I got lucky, and I don't know how I'm deserving of this, and it doesn't mean anyone's not deserving of it. But I just I feel so lucky, and I almost feel guilty sometimes. So I just. I just want to give, and I want to give as much as I can, and this is my way to do it. So $32,000 for my 32nd birthday, and I think this will be my favorite birthday to remember. It's not about going to see shows or parties or vacations. It's, it's not. I just want to help. I just want to help people. And um, that's it. So, okay, this turned into a video, turned into a very long turn that I did not want to take. I'm so sorry, you guys. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I don't know. Was this cricket the whole time? Probably, huh? Um, birthday week. <laughs> Yay. Um, this is how I want to celebrate my birthday. Like I said, I, I usually always do something for my birthday, like fancy vlogs or fancy, fancy vlogs, but yeah, no, like fancy videos or like, you know, cool trips and cool Instagram posts. And I, I don't have that this year. So this is what I have. I have money and I have a rinky tink performance of Beetlejuice of all the songs for you guys. <laughs> Cause Beetlejuice is closed. Not to... We'll blow this on a lighter note. Beetlejuice is freaking closed, you guys. So Broadway is closed till June 7th, and Beetlejuice was slated to close on June 6th, anyways. And I had tickets for my birthday on May 8th to go see it, and I'm very, 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 I was heartbroken. It looks like MCR 2 might be canceled in the fall. It, it's, 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 again, in the grand scheme of things, does it matter? Absolutely not. I was like, I was looking forward to it. I was excited, but you know what? I'm even more excited for this performance. I'm gonna be the star of Beetlejuice. We're gonna put it on in my bedroom. <laughs> You guys get to see it. It's very great. You guys can take all the pictures you want. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right, guys, hang in there. If you had a birthday in isolation, we're all in this together. And um, yeah, just uh, lots of prayers, love, positivity, thoughts, and some money. That's what I can do. The best I can do. All right, guys, I love you. And I'll see you in my birthday week video tomorrow with our first donation going to Doctors Without Borders. And um, yeah, I think we're going to be bringing New York to my house. All right, guys. I love you. Bye.